What's up guys, this is the Everything and Anything Podcast with your host Malin and you already know this is the most unprofessional podcast out there. No set agenda, no set design, we pretty much just get it done, we pretty much just do it, yo, you know how this goes. So, yeah, y'all already know, check out the Instagram, check out the Facebook, check out the what youtube channel check out the website you know i'm like i'm like so i'm so tired of telling y'all to check it out man but just check it out bro because it's so deeply appreciated when y'all do for real i love when y'all interact with my posts and everything else it's on the instagram just check it out check out the website buzzing enterprise dot square dot site and you know man just leave a like a comment leave a review on apple Podcasts, spotify youtube comment on youtube like like and subscribe and put those post notifications on so you always know when something is going on and like i said this is the everything and anything podcast the most unprofessional podcast out there and today i'm here with my guests my name is Sam Ressi, and um, i really appreciate you for having me on Malin. yes sir and uh yeah, we are on the most unprofessional podcast out there. You already know how we do it, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. But, and today, we're talking about, like, kind of like fitness, I would say. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, yeah we're talking the about lifestyle. And then the fitness and the lifestyle mm-hmm. that goes around with that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so, I'm not really a big fitness person. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I, I, I've tried working out. Mm-hmm. I've... I, like like i have done it like i have tried it my like i have tried yo yeah i went to the gym with my friends went to the gym with like a lot of people mm-hmm. and i just you know and it's just like i i could never stay in the gym yeah uh, and like i just could never stay in the gym bro Dude, and i honestly, don't know why honestly bro it happens with a lot of people and it, there's so many like factors that come into play it's just like motivation itself is probably the biggest one yeah um i just feel like a lot of people don't have drive you know (laughs) when it comes to it like for me when i started getting into like working out and stuff like that i was like really obese bro like Mm -hmm. i'm talking about like plump size looking kid man um and i was just like i need to turn that shit around you know i need to i need to start i need to start getting myself active and um from there the kind of main main like motivation for me at the time was to just look better you know and i was also going through heartbreak (laughs) so there was that that, bro that's always like another big motivator nowadays like uh people tend to go through heartbreak or like something hard in their life and they just decide to like hop on to find like an escape which i see the gym as like an escape too you know what i mean i've been you know taking it seriously now for the past um a little over a year now i've been doing it for okay. five years oh, five years on and off but like yeah. i've been consistent for the past year now pretty much and okay. i've probably been taking it the most seriously now nice. um, yeah. because it's not just like me going to the gym and lifting it's like affecting me like outside of the gym you know what i mean like when it comes to diet when it comes to just the way i approach life in general like it's like a whole discipline now compared to like how i was doing it in the past you know what i mean I heard that, yeah. so it's Man, I don't even know where to start. It's been like a huge journey as it is uh, doing it. I hear that. And, um, you know, I kind of like started posting my like progress too to like hopefully inspire people. And I mean, I've had like, I've had a lot of people reach out. I was surprised. I was genuinely surprised, you know what I mean? Because I kind of was just doing it to just, you know, share the progress. And then people actually started coming like, yo, dude, how do I, how do I start dieting? Like, give me like a workout split. Um, just like various questions to like help them like make sense of how they can start taking the steps towards bettering themselves. Yeah. Because if you think of it, bro, like like bodybuilding and stuff like that, and like sculpting your body, bro, it's like a it's like a status symbol, it like is. a symbol of status, bro. Yeah, like you can't is. you can't like you can't pay for it, you can't steal it, none of that crap. It's like you need discipline. You need to be able to put the time in, Hell yeah. patience, all of that. Control, all of that. Dude, it's and sometimes I get crap for it from my homies, like low key, but like uh, you know, at the end of the day, they It's for you. Yeah, it's for me, man. Exactly. Me, myself and I. So but would you say like would you say what's the biggest challenge you had being consistent or like going to the gym? I would say, um, and this is um 
It's not crazy. I was gonna say it's crazy, but it's the social aspect because like when you're taking it seriously, like I do, you want to start like kind of waning away from like all the little vices, like you know, like smoking. Yeah. You know, I was like a huge smoker, like freshman sophomore year, yeah, yeah. Of college, um, drinking too. Now I don't mind going out once in a while. Like if the homies want to go out to like a bar, like downtown once in a while, I'm all for it. You know. Yeah. But like, I don't get how like some people want to like, you know, take their life in the right direction in terms of like being healthy and then they go out heavily drinking like every fucking week <laughs> you know what i mean it's just it doesn't make sense to me because they're like yeah bro i'm gonna be yeah. big and stuff like that and then I, then they're just like yeah we went to the bars and i got I pounded bro like i got hammered and like you just messed up your whole like yeah. progress bro yeah. within, a, within a weekend you know what i mean um but yeah man in terms of that social aspect too it's just like having that discipline to say no Mm -hmm. to in those situations like if my homies want to go out and smoke and do something or they want to go out and drink there's some nights where so I like I track my calories when it comes to like my diet and stuff yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. what I eat right yeah. and let's say like I already ate all the calories or stuff like that that I had to have in the day and mm -hmm. I get a call up like hey man like you want to go out and get some drinks yeah. I'm just kind of like I can't have any drinks bro they're like you can still come with us I'm like it's kind of be mad weird being sober at a bar you know like I'm like, what the hell, man? There's really no point. And it kind of sucks, you know, just having to say no to them because though I really want to go out and yeah. like, do that stuff, you know, but, I sometimes got to put my foot down. But, like, I definitely get that that being a hard challenge. But something mm -hmm. that caught my like caught my ears while you we were talking there is, um, is, like, you said, like, that like the calorie watching, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like why 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 do you have to watch your calories so closely like why can't you go over your calories or go under your calories like yeah like see i don't mind in terms of like calories wise so like i it's kind of like think of it as like a measurement it's kind of like what how it's kind of like what you'll use as a tool to know how much you're intaking a day so i'm on a cut right now so like 2800 calories what i eat in a day that's pretty low for me for okay. other people they look at that and they're like Damn, bro, 2,800 calories. 2,800 like, calories? Yeah. Okay. So I think like the normal health amount they say for like on like all the boxes, mm -hmm. like nutrition facts, like 2,000 calories a day. Okay. And just just like a real quick thing. I can't imagine you college students, bro, because like you were talking about your meal plan on the uh, podcast this morning. Like you don't have your meal plan anymore. And I feel so bad for many no, of college kids. I got it. I was saying after, like oh. I was saying after. I graduate, I won't have it no more. Oh, you know right. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but like, I mean, in general, like, the food here, like, at Lemoyne isn't the greatest. No, it's not. You know, some yeah. of you guys just don't have a lot of money, so you guys can't really have access to, like, high quality food. Like, I, I mean, generally feel that. I do. I only go there sometimes, but majority of the time, I use my kitchen. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the good thing about having an apartment. It's mostly. It's, it's usually the kids who live in like the dorms and stuff like that yeah they're that's the ones who really for suffer yeah, because they man. have to go to the calf yeah and if they, they if their dorm doesn't have a kitchen then mm -hmm. you know what i mean you just, you're you're like you're fucked bro yeah. <laughs> so and i think in a sense too with the calorie tracking um it kind of just like helps me know where like here's the thing everyone's body is like different right yeah. so like the thing is you could be eating 2800 calories for example let's say you have like a normal metabolism okay and you eat like 2800 calories a day um and you start like tracking your weight you realize that maybe you start gaining weight when you eat 2800 calories and let's say you're mm -hmm. trying to like lose weight right yeah then you start decreasing and then you you know stay around that decreased amount and then you keep tracking your weight that's what i'm basically doing with the calorie tracking is it's okay. like allowing me to know like if I'm continuously losing weight uh, when I'm just staying on this course that I'm taking with the amount of calories that I'm staying at or yeah. well you know once my weight starts to like st like stay stagnant or like not move down again then I have to sit down and go like okay maybe we gotta decrease 50 more calories uh, which is not a lot. People go like, okay, 50 calories? No, I know. I'm not looking at it like as a lot. I'm just like, the control just amazes me. Like, just decreasing 50 calories. Like, bro. Dude, sometimes it's like <laughs> a little minor decreases like that. And like, you're all set, bro. Bro, but like, for me, for example, right? I, I'm just using myself like, yeah. as a, you know, as a comparison to you. Yeah. Like, I... I my main goal when I used to when I tried to work out basically mm -hmm. was to gain muscle gain to gain muscle, weight yeah. you know what I mean because yeah. what I really want to do is gain weight I'm a skinny dude bro yeah like my entire life how most people be like they want to lose weight lose weight lose weight I always just look at them and be like damn yeah. 
give me some of that weight. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, bro. Yeah. Like I've always weighed between 120 mm-hmm. and 125 okay. my entire life. Damn. Literally, Damn. I've fluctuated between probably went below 120 mm-hmm. a couple of times. Yeah. You know, that's you know when you know being on campus and just the like living in dorms and just yeah. the food situation and stuff like that, bro. Which is like sophomore year, and it was crazy, but. I definitely have gone below 120 and you know I'm I'm tw- I'm I'm 21 years old bro and yeah. I'm supposed to be weighing way more than that for yeah. a 21 year old you know what I'm saying yeah, I know but what you mean, bro. at the end of the day it's like I I be- I I think I I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I have a fast metabolism yeah right and sometimes I don't really eat that much I'm a very picky eater mm-hmm. I don't eat everything yeah you know what I'm saying bro so it's like and so it's like it's just there there's certain things for me to eat and if i don't have that then it's hard for me to eat yeah, you know what i'm saying bro so that. like that that's that's been controlling me mm-hmm. like for real like my entire life bro yeah. i want to say my entire life but probably when i moved to america to be honest with you okay yeah to be honest probably when i moved to america because or even probably when i got to like high school because at the end of the day when i lived with my mom and back home in st lucia I would that's what I would eat home cooked meals mm-hmm. move to America I mean middle school I would pretty much eat home cooked meals mm-hmm. but then when I got to high school I started spending more time outside and yeah. then now I can and then now I gotta eat like fast food and you know outside food basically mm-hmm. and I start getting used to eating outside food and eating less inside and I'm not really getting what I used to eat I'm not getting that that fatty food from my yeah. my culture basically that I used to eat that I used to keep me you know <laughs> at yeah. that certain level bro so i don't know it's kind of just it's kind of tough bro for me it's kind of tough i get that bro what i'd say is because i it's always the people with high metabolism that come to me <laughs> with this issue bro you know what i literally just say bro eat more but that's it i just say eat more and then they go like bro but i am eating a lot and i'm like eat more but like even if you're not tracking myself calories to eat makes me feel sick sometimes it makes me that's the other thing in itself bro that like so i had a buddy who was in a similar situation as you like mm. back in high school when we first started lifting he was like 110 pounds my height too so imagine like being that yeah. lanky 110 pounds that's crazy and he he took it to the next level he probably did, he did way better than i did he he went ahead of me at one point really nice. in progress to be honest but like he gained 90 pounds in two what? years bro he was probably eating five thousand six thousand calories a day <laughs> if that was an estimate he wasn't tracking like i yeah, was yeah, yeah. but like dude you know how much that is bro no that's bro. a lot to get yeah. 90 pounds in two years bro like that's like that's a tremendous amount yeah bro. man like for real bro because i i'm not gonna hold you i probably only eat about a thousand five a day I, I i i don't think i hit two two at all bro yeah. to be honest with you i don't think i hit two at all in in one day so you said you're picky eater right i'm a very picky eater bro. like what stuff do you normally like eating well at the end of the day it's not about that i i i'm i kind of don't eat a lot of stuff too i don't eat certain seafoods like mm-hmm. shellfish and like you know like if the okay basically like for seafood if the fish doesn't have doesn't have scales on it when like when it's in the water bro mm-hmm. and like when it's alive you know how you clean fish and you gotta yeah. remove the scales if if the fish i'm eating you if you didn't do that to prepare it then yeah. i cannot eat it yeah i get that you know what i'm okay. saying yeah, like, I, I can't eat it yeah and then i i don't eat pork mm-hmm. i don't eat you know just different things that you would you know that that, that you would just get you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. that's like famous or just known that you would go to a store and be like yo like let me just get a slice of this let me get, let me try yeah. this usually like usually a lot of pork is out there you know what i'm saying yeah. i still i don't eat pork and that's religion based you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. yeah that's kind of the way i grew up and at this point i'm just disgusted by it bro i would yeah. never eat it bro in my life bro so there's certain things where i just can't eat so that's that's one restriction right there mm-hmm. and then there's certain things where i just don't like because i consider it to be american shit yeah. Like, you know, like <laughs> all this processed food out here bro dude. yeah and it's not really processed food like it's more like like clam chowder have you ever ate clam chowder before Pro- dude, probably like last time i ate it was like it has to be like 10 years ago but bro. 10 years is ago. that something your parents would cook in their house bro no bro no. exactly yeah 
That's what I'm that's saying. Weird. What <laughs> if clam like that, that's some American shit to yeah, me, bro? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I don't eat American shit, bro. So you don't really eat stuff like cheeseburgers, French fries. No, sides, you crazy. You wild. Bro. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> I would say a cheeseburger is my favorite thing okay, to eat. Okay, okay. I was gonna say. I was yeah. like, damn, bro. Okay, American. Yeah, shit. and that's the thing. We talk about fast food. No, well, not fast food. I wouldn't say fast, but there's certain thing. I would say like there's certain things in fast food. Like you know how somebody would go to Popeyes and get like a. Fried chicken sandwich, so like no, that. no, like the there, there's a mashed potato and gravy, or oh, yeah, yeah. the red beans and rice. I would never do that. <laughs> I would like, <laughs> yo, like, yeah. like you honest me too, bro. Did I? Bro, like what the fuck? Even though it yeah. has pork, bro, mm-hmm. and, I, and I can't eat it regardless. Yeah, I would never do that, bro. Yeah, that shit is just okay, it's, it's exactly, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, I get that, man. But um, I would say, like, if you ever wanted to consider getting back in the gym, I would say two things. Think of the foods that you actually like eating. Okay. And incorporate that in your diet. Because at the end of the day, my diet, with what I do, I make sure it's foods that I enjoy eating. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to be honest with you too, I eat the same stuff every day. Okay. That sounds fucking crazy, right? (laughs) That I eat the same stuff. But that's what a lot of bodybuilders do. They'll tend to stick to the same meal plan when it comes to their bulks and cuts. Yeah. But like, obviously, people look at that and they're like, yo, what the fuck's wrong with you? You eat the same food, like the same exact meal Mm -hmm. every day? I'm like, yeah. And And they're just like... Is, do you have any variety? I'm like, I mean, I have a cheat day here and there. But, like, when it comes to the diet that I'm on, I try to make sure, like, it's actually stuff that I look forward to eating, bro. Okay, yeah, You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And just in terms of how I separate my meals, I have, like, four meals a day, right? Mm. I specifically have two meals literally um, set for pre-workout yeah. and post-workout, though. Okay. So, two of my meals, so the two other meals are normally just, like, breakfast and dinner. But the okay. two other meals are literally set to make sure that I have energy before my workout and I have like something to eat right after my workout so my okay. body can like get some energy and stuff I like that. I get what you're saying. So it's like a whole structure in like the diet too. No, you know? that was a big downfall for me too, especially with the not eating while I'm trying to work out. Mm-hmm. Bro, I don't have energy to work out. I, 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 I don't like, <laughs> yeah. I'm literally killing myself at mm-hmm. that point, bro. Yeah. Like, so it's like I would go to the gym and I would be literally just weak, like, mm-hmm. I would be like drained, like yeah, drained, I can, I can bro. Imagine, bro. Yeah, that's why you gotta get a meal in before. <laughs> like nor- this. So when I was doing research, because I wanted to do certain like science back research in terms of like how to like prep my meals and stuff like that. Okay. Like how much protein I should take in, how much carbs. They say like a meal like an hour beforehand mm-hmm. is probably like the best is probably like the best case scenario because at that point the food's digested, it's in the foods turned into energy, it's yeah. stored in your body and you can utilize it the best you can during your workouts. If I obviously also take like different supplements to like help with the workouts too, yeah. which I know not everyone does. <laughs> but um obviously that's probably like the best advice I could give you with that cuz I, I I get that, bro, cuz like there's some homies that like they'll have not like eaten in like 5 to 6 hours like college friends and they'll go to the gym I'm like dude what the fuck's wrong with you? Is that like, something meal first yeah, I'm bro. like what? I'm yeah. like you fucking for real. So that was a that that was a big thing, and I definitely understand that, bro. Like how that's important because of like the energy storage and all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. Because the food does have to turn into energy, and where it's just, <laughs> like science stuff. <laughs> too much science for yeah. me too, bro. Trust me. <laughs> but do you have like a page where you post your stuff on, bro? I literally or? just post on my main account, bro. On your main account. Yeah. But like on your story or story, yeah. Uh, man, I think you should make a page where you give people advice and try to make something out of this bro i've been thinking about it you know um i think the biggest thing for me is just that um this is what i tell myself but like at the same time i'm, I'm being a hypocrite about it is like if i want to go in that direction to me it just feels like a little uncomfortable doing it why that's the thing bro like i feel like i don't know why i always worry that i'm gonna get judged or something like that you know what but, I mean? like critiqued but then like i tell myself in my head though i'm like when you first started getting to weightlifting and all this diet and stuff and being really serious without it, you were getting critiqued and yet you still push forward. So why exactly, can't exactly, bro? I'm telling myself sometimes. So why can't you take that next step? And I just I don't know. I've been like, because bro, at the end of the day, you would be surprised how many people that actually want to that are want to follow uh, follow you, follow you and actually like do it, bro. Mm-hmm. Like for real. Like yeah. you'll be surprised how many people want like wanna like actually interact with you on your page and mm-hmm. get to know 
how okay how could I do this and like like I said bro yeah doing what you love if you love if you love fitness and working out mm -hmm. then then you should actually turn into something where you could probably make money because at yeah. the end of the day bro if you don't love your job then I mean if you're not happy in your job then I I I, I don't know bro you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like like I really like I really don't know like 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 for real so I'm saying like if you definitely like love something mm -hmm. then turn it into something where you could probably even make money out of it bro yeah. um like at, at some point that's something that i'm kind of worried about too though is like it's already a passion of mine right yeah just like the weightlifting and all that in general but like i feel like part of me goes like if i start going that route too there's gonna be a point where i get burnt out you okay know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah i get what you're saying so like that's my biggest worry also bro it's but like it it doesn't have to be like it doesn't have to be like a like uh like a thing where you just do like work out because there's a certain point in time where you do kind of burn out when you're working out mm -hmm. it could also be like a health thing too where you just you know diet in and, and and like helping people sump like sump like you know supplements and stuff like that bro if you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like you know like guiding people along the process yeah and at the end of the day you don't like if you already got to your peak bro like, all you have to do is just really like just um focus on maintaining yourself and helping mm -hmm. other people to be honest with you yeah if you get what i'm saying nah yeah i totally i totally get what you're saying because like with a lot of like a lot of like old heads that i see that are in the gym they do they, they, they don't really come to the gym to build a muscle anymore mm -hmm. like those that are like like those that were like big like um like like you know like those that used to work out from the time they were young yeah and their bodies are already built but you know when you get old your body literally yeah they, they just want to be healthy they just to maintain it bro you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah bro so if you feel like you're you've got to that point I, I i don't see why not why can't you just like help people and also just maintain you know you like like you know what i mean yeah i get yeah. what you're saying i guess it's something that i'll probably have to say and consider like just like come up with a plan on how i'm going to approach this because i don't want to like for example just like leave this leave this like podcast and I'm just go like instantly like alright we're gonna make an account like, <laughs> you know I mean? like I gotta have like a full yeah. plan I got, no, hell yeah. got the audience that I want to focus on and all that so it's definitely something that I'll probably sit down and make a plan make a plan about I hear that but yeah. um, in terms of like how soon if I did decide to do it um it probably wouldn't be like until like closer to like near the end of the semester or something like that okay. when like school starts to calm down yeah. including like now I'm not gonna lie too I always like you know showing progress pics once in a while this is the least this is like the time where I'm least showing progress because I'm mm -hmm. like in the you know how like you have a aqua phase with like growing your hair so uh, yeah. I'm in the aqua phase and my body like starting to lose fat so like it yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. it kind of looks weird for the bulk right now uh, so like I'm I'm still like a little shy bro like the body dysmorphia is just yeah, like yeah, yeah. out of this world during this time bro but so you don't feel shy when you're in the gym oh bro not see here's the thing that's scary this is like a big thing with mental health bro it's like I'm in the gym I feel like I'm that motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I feel like I'm that the, motherfucker. So, okay, so you, know you, I mean? so you're proving my point then, dude. It's just a weird like <laughs> mental health aspect that you see with so many other gym goers that are like constant gym goers. It's like we have like these god complexes, like, <laughs> that ass when we're like in the gym, and then we get home and we look at ourselves in the mirror and we're like, damn, we're like fucking <laughs> shit. You know what that I mean? That's bad. Because like, because I mean, for some, I get it though. Like, I understand where you're coming yeah. from, but that's bad though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, man. It's just. um in terms of just that aspect too like the body's dysmorphia thing for me it's not just like oh i feel small type b mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like i look at myself in the mirror and i see that fat kid from like six seven years but, ago but bro you gotta but bro you, you gotta look again bro you, you you gotta look again because at the end of the day it's 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 not bro yeah it's not sometimes you gotta take a, like another look bro to be honest with you I gotta take like 20 looks. Nah, <laughs> man, it shouldn't be that much. Nah, bro, that's that's the thing, man, that sometimes, um, and I, I think this leads into like another topic itself, is that like some people's body dysmorphias are like so bad. No, it's okay. most times yeah, like yeah, because yeah. like they like think they're like small though, right? Okay. And then they start taking like steroids and shit like yeah, that. Bro. Like small shit. Yeah, bro. I'm not saying I like Seamoth just because it's my boy. That shit is good. You fuck with the Seamoth, <laughs> yo. Tap in, y'all. That shit is Great, it's worth for seven dollars. You won't regret it, man. 
Made Tropical Sea Moss. Go follow that on Instagram. Tap in. Advertisement time. Today, we have maize tropical sea moss, wild crafted fruit infused sea moss, fruits and sea moss from the beautiful island of St. Lucia. And if you don't know about sea moss, man, sea moss has 92 out of 102 minerals that the body needs. Sea moss has a whole bunch of other minerals and nutritions and, you know, just like health benefits like protein, calcium, sulfur, iodine, magnesium, and that's just a few of them. Sea moss is also good for pregnant women because it gives you and the baby nutrients because it's all because it's jam packed with nutrients. You know, sea moss is also good for smokers because it removes the phlegm in you know in your chest and your throat. You know, it clears out your sinuses and all of that stuff. Sea moss is also good for sex, man. It could boost your sex drive. So, if you're not all there, drink that sea moss. Sea moss also has way more nutrition, vitamins, minerals than any other multivitamins there is out there. Man, try maize tropical sea moss today. Wild crafted fruit infused sea moss drinks. Tap in, man. Support. Y'all already know. Commercial break. Okay. But like body dysmorphia like throws us like gym rats at like it throws us like all over the place, bro. And like some of us will start starving ourselves when we're on a cut because we want to see that progress faster. Yeah, bro. You know, bro. some people are like bulking up and they're just like, dude, I'm starting to look like a fucking fat it's ass. Bad. Yeah, bro. You know, and then the, obviously like I just mentioned, people are looking small and they're like, maybe I should start, you know, fucking sticking needles in yeah, and bro. taking trend or like testosterone you know what i mean that's just crazy it's wild dude that it's the gym community itself in that aspect but it's, because i'm not gonna hold you like no nah, bro you are good say what you got <laughs> no 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 i was no no I, i'm gonna say what i gotta say like yeah i like i i sometimes feel where you're coming from because at the end of the day bro like okay because you gotta look at this mm-hmm. You may you it's crazy how you feel like you're small. Yeah. Look at me, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like what do you leave for me? Like, <laughs> like 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 what do you like what should I say to myself when I go look in the mirror, bro? Like that's a deep question. Like I'm not trying to like put you in the spot or anything, but like you like you know what I'm saying? Like look at you, bro, and look at me, bro. I think uh, <laughs> and I'm not saying like I'll say this first, like we are two different people. No, so, we like we, we are all have we are. our own stories and no, like okay, our yeah. mental health has been. So I don't know True. if like I don't know what your life is okay. you know, past these doors when I walk out. Okay, and, yeah, you yeah. Know, that's you don't a know good. mine. And I'm not saying like you're you're not allowed to critique that. No, 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 I mean? no. I'm just saying yeah, no, I was yeah. just asking no, I'm just saying though no, because I'm not bro, I'm just being the devil's advocate right now. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And at the end of the day it's like all I'm saying is that like it's it's something that we all go through because because what I was gonna lead to with that was saying that sometimes I feel that way too with my small ass body, bro. Like yeah. sometimes I don't want to wear a tank top because of my, you know yeah. because of my my chicken chest or whatever. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I just be like, fuck it, bro. Mm-hmm. That's me. This is yeah. me, bro. Like if you don't like it, then you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I bro. Like, that. That's sometimes you just gotta have that mentality mm-hmm. because if you don't. Like it, yeah. it fucks you up, bro. I know, dude. I know, <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah, bro. Because that, that's kind of where I was leading to that, bro. Because at the end of the day, I, I sometimes I feel like I feel like that myself too, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, like flat, literally, I'm <laughs> flat chested, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I feel like, damn, I don't want to wear a tank top. I don't want to, mm-hmm. you know, show my arms or whatever, bro. Yeah. Like you know, I see people in their shirts, like their arms are literally like stretching their shirts out and shit. Yeah. Like I want to, I want to be like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But at the end of the day, bro, it's like, I don't like going to the gym, so mm-hmm. I just got to accept myself for who I am, bro. Like, yeah. honestly, sometimes, it's like, and then that's why I have that fucking mentality so much, because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I got to, I want to be happy in my skin, bro. And I don't really, now that's kind of where you were saying we are two different people. Yeah. I don't like going to the gym. I don't like changing myself because... I feel like the world is watching me a certain way. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. There's certain things where I just don't do because of the because the world feels like it's you know what I'm saying yeah. feels like it's wrong. Mm-hmm. So that's me and going to the gym. I okay with I'm okay with my body, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, and, and 
and that's totally fine. Like some people yeah. are genuinely, genuinely like satisfied with how they look, and that's totally fine. Like, yeah, for you, you know what I mean. Rock, Facts. rock that confidence. It's just that, like, with me and many other people, it's just like we are never satisfied. I think that's the thing that keeps us driving. Yeah, it too, bro. It's like, and it's to push harder. Sometimes it's it's it's. I I would say like there's always there's always like a deeper like a deeper thing in like 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 in it because because I have friends where like you know they're big guys bro you know yeah. what I'm saying and they've got they've gotten like teased about it you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. they've gotten teased about it many times but they also have that same fucking mentality as me yeah. they just be like fuck it because this is me yeah. but then there are people who it, it kind of like like you know it gets to you more than other people so mm-hmm. I mean you, you're doing it for your health that's mm-hmm. and that's one because at the end of the day it, it's it, I mean it's good for you regardless yeah. but then you're also doing it to make yourself feel good because if you want to change if, like if you want to feel good then you gotta make some changes bro if you feel like the way you used to look before you said you was a chunky kid you know what I'm saying yeah. so if you feel like that's not how you want to live your life you're not satisfied with that like you were saying you're like you're never satisfied then hell yeah I agree with you and going to the gym and working on and being what you want to be bro yeah. for real bro because that's how you gotta do it, bro. It's just that I, just that I'm me in the gym, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, but but for real though, it's like if you feel like that's that's the way that you want to live your life and that makes you feel good, it's feel good, bro. Mm-hmm. It's all about how you feel, bro. Yeah. Because if but at the end of the day, if you were doing this to not feel good, then something would be wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Not, but, bro. Uh, you don't know what's crazy, bro. Like what? that that like takes something in my head. Uh, one of my buddies went to um a therapist right and uh-huh. obviously it looks like me his therapist one day said to him like what you're doing did you ever think about it as like some way of like self-harm oh, lifting wow. weights oh wow like putting your body through so much and then i kind of thought of it too bro because like i'll be like hey, dude my favorite day at the gym is legs right <laughs> and i'll go fucking ham on like day like i'm talking about i'm squatting like 315 pounds yeah. for reps that's crazy. Uh, like um we have this um I never gym about that. we have an angled leg press so like how it's set up is that it's obviously angled and your feet are like up like this mm-hmm. imagine me doing 750 pounds like Man. it's nothing like butter and i'm yeah. pushing it down to like my face and then pushing it back up like by the way though it's not like i'm doing that to like you know like release anger that's no. like generally the strength that i built up to yeah, but like then facts, you like bro. think of it in that aspect including with like mental that's health and you're saying, just like though, yeah bro like kind of blows your mind yeah because i never actually thought about it like that bro like that's your way of self-harm yeah. is lifting and I'm like damn i actually never thought about it in that way bro like mm. how it could be self-harm bro because at the end of the day it's like you ever seen those people who be like i'm gonna go to the gym to release some demons or whatever like yeah, that yeah bro like what what are you saying like what are you yeah, know, saying bro. bro like are you going there like because it could be a stress reliever i get that yeah you know what i'm saying but there are some people who go to the gym just to lift heavy ass shit because they're feeling some type of pain inside yeah. bro and i'm like damn bro dude, like it's scary with social media <laughs> too dude because um like you look on tiktok or like something like that and you'll see people like talk about going on these villain art type bullshits right yeah it's like bro. it's like these people are like encouraging people to like shut themselves down to the world and like become fucking menaces like talking about like becoming totally fucking heartless bro like all that shit like telling people practically like even like in terms of woman like yo just yo fuck woman like be be like an incel like it's it's like you're you're, you're encouraging these people well, what is to go this down this fuck path bro. what is his name again no there's no 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 no, no. no. what is the what is his name bro you know you don't know what i'm talking about Who the tape dude Andrew Tate? That motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> he was no, the main was, one. No, it wasn't. No. But he didn't talk about lifting like that. But oh, like, okay, you would okay, see, okay, like, okay, kids okay. themselves oh, be posted okay, online okay. on social media. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Andrew Tate's is a whole different thing. Yeah, that's a whole but different like, story. Uh, but I, I thought that that's where you were going. No, but, like, there's these kids that are literally posting, like, yeah, I'm going to shut myself down. I'm going I'm to bust my ass in the gym. Dude, fuck women. I'm not going to talk to them. Like, what like bro, fuck? why, like... Why like ruin your mental health like yeah, that, bro. like, or change yourself in that way so you're like completely heartless and just in reality you're gonna become fucking miserable, dude. Like, I get like something really bad happened in your life and you want to take it into a direction where you want to turn it around that way. And like I said, fitness is some people's escape in terms yeah. of mental health, and that's totally fine. It is my escape sometimes if I'm having a bad day, you know, and I have to go to the gym that day that's probably where i release my stress you know what i mean but um but like for some people it's just like it's, it's wild bro it's yeah. wild 
like I feel bad for those people. Those are the type of people that need therapy and need to sit down and relook things at life because I genuinely feel bad for those people that because there was a point where I was like that, bro. Like I became totally, totally heartless. I mean, and same shit. Like I was like, you know, fuck women, fuck all that bullshit, <laughs> you know. And I realized that That's in ter- I had a ha- there was like a little thing that like clicked in life. There was like this moment, really personal moment that I had, and it was kind of just like you know I need to get my head out of my ass and yeah, stop acting bro. like this for real for real because it's crazy yeah. including with already people coming to me wanting to like better themselves i can't be like in this headspace where i'm so negative and go like giving out this advice or shit you know what i mean i get that i definitely so, get that so um i would say just in terms of overall mental health um I just hope those people do get better and I did get better and I mean I got the help that I needed yeah beyond that but like for some people I just you know they don't want to take that and I feel like it's with men in society too bro like it's mental like, health and all that men, yeah, bro. like we don't want to we don't want to go get help bro. a lot we of think people of don't want to acknowledge a lot of people don't want to acknowledge that they need help bro yeah and, and I mean sometimes sometimes bro you just cannot do nothing for those people bro to be honest with you and that's it's, scary yeah, that you feel the, like you can't do anything sometimes but that's the thing I mean? though bro yeah. you can't force people to do a yeah. lot of things bro yeah. and that's the scary part about it for real though and but at the end of the day i just feel like you that you if if the person i wants wants the help and accepts the help mm-hmm. help them don't never not help them you yeah. know what i'm saying but for those that don't want it you just gotta like pray for them bro mm-hmm. to be honest if you just pray for them there'll bro. always be a breaking point there was a breaking yeah point exactly there'll always be a breaking so. point when they realize that okay damn you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying yeah i probably should change what the fuck i'm doing bro yeah. for real and, and get that and that's what kind of like got me going crazy at the gym this past year like obviously good nothing bad like i yeah. did like i got help went to therapy um you know started to stay away from weed more often alcohol i was dude, before i started working out again bro i was doing like hard ass drugs bro i'm talking sure. about like like i took the path of psychedelics nah. so you can imagine like how often i was going crazy yeah, with that bro, bro. like yeah, part bro. of me thinks like even today i probably like scrambled my mind like low key bro. probably did bro yeah that's like, the one thing that I, I will never try bro is like psychedelics but that's a whole different topic like listen i had yeah i had my fun experience with that but like yeah. i realized that it was bad and of i course. cleaned up the act and i definitely you know, get that but joe like the one thing that i could say about working out bro is you know just putting this like to a close is like i know that it's good f- i know that it's healthy for you it's good for you especially with the dieting and watching how many calories you eat and like, like watching what you eat too mm-hmm. i would say that's a good aspect of it definitely and i and, and that's probably one of the only aspects like the the like the healthy part you know just living a healthy lifestyle mm-hmm. part of it that i i would say I would probably try yeah but when it comes to like going to the gym and lifting the heavy weights and doing that part mm-hmm. I don't think that's for me but yeah I mean I guess it is for you and you know, and that's good bro because yeah. it's, it's good to just and I believe you should I believe you should just I believe you should op- you know start your page and let the people know about stuff like that bro you, you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. bro yeah because at the end of the day people want to know if people are hitting you up let people people want to be motivated people mm-hmm. want to see stuff like that bro yeah because the more is the more they feel like they have people encouraging them to do the right thing people will do the right thing bro so yeah. you should i don't know man help you help some help some people st- out bro I guess something that I gotta consider, yeah bro you know? I mean, for real any i mean putting this to a close anything you would want to say to the people out there who watches this podcast and probably do work out mm-hmm. and who take this lifestyle serious so i would say a, a couple of things first is you know keep working hard if you got this far i don't know whoever's watching this or will watch this i don't know how long you've gone uh already like like i said i've been doing it for five years on and off if you're just starting and you're losing motivation you know, I would say just make sure you have the support systems. It was probably like one of the big things. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. You know, my friends and family, they definitely did. You know, they were one of the reasons why I'm probably still doing this nice. to this day, I guess. 
and I guess just that fucking mentality, you know what I mean? I think that yeah, played a that. big role in like how I want to approach bodybuilding too because there were obviously people that critiqued me for taking certain aspects of the lifestyle too seriously but in yeah. reality like for me that's just how I find it suits me the most is going that stricter route you know what I mean but that doesn't mean like you know if you're doing the approach like I am you know you can't have fun like I know I mentioned earlier in the podcast that uh, like there's a lot of times where I have to say no or something like that yeah, but like no. You know what I mean? You know, still go have fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Still, yep. still live life. Like for example, bro, I love hiking. I love traveling, bro. Exactly. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a lot more traveling this year. Hell yeah. Even get out of the country. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And yeah. I guess just um, in terms of mental health, you're doing this to like help with your mental health. I would say, you know, keep using it as your escape. It's not a bad place. Trust me. Like when I started going to the gym after I went to go get therapy and I get got like medicated I met like some of the coolest people you know what I mean so like if you're at the gym all the time get to know the people around you you know what I mean you probably make some of the coolest fucking friends yeah, and trust me man I did it was so fun that's good uh, and just obviously having that other way of just uh, motivating each other um, I wish we could have gone more into supplements. I'll be honest, because like that's a whole other thing. thing. That's a whole so, other thing. Yeah. Supplements, yeah. I mean, that's something that I will say too, real quick. The lifestyle is expensive as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so if you got a good amount of money saved up, because that's the thing with lifestyles, you know, you gotta put money into your lifestyle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is expensive too. I'm talking about like my grocery bills, supplements, and all that. I'm probably spending <laughs> like four or five hundred a month between all that oh uh, yeah that would be so, a whole different that would be a yeah. story bro that would yeah. be a whole different that, so, that's a lot of money to be spending God so damn. when you make something a lifestyle and you know you got to take it seriously like that like yep. you want to make sure you're eating high quality foods taking in high quality supplements all that but um besides that yeah i would say just keep the grind going you're doing great if you're gonna start doing it you know i would love to help you I'm sure Malin's gonna tag me in a post to repost that he's gonna post his podcast soon. So for sure, I'll you know my DMs will be open and hopefully I'll make an account soon too. But of course, you know? yeah. So go so, that route. All right, so okay, guys, I think this will be it for this podcast. For this, for not for this podcast, there will be another episode next week. <laughs> but for this, <laughs> but for this, for this episode and. This was a good one with your host Malin and my and and my guest Samir. Samur? Samur, it's okay. Sam, yo, <laughs> it always crazy. happens, bro. Samur, Samur, yeah. My bad, but it's with my guest Samur. And this is the and this is the everything and everything. This is the everything. <laughs> yo, I'm out. Yo, this uh, uh Yeah, okay. Rewind. This is this is this is the everything and anything podcast. The most unprofessional podcast out there. No set agenda, no set design. We just get it done. Remember, this podcast spark your mind, make you think a little bit, and make you wonder about the things that you know you thought you knew. So, (laughs) facts. Always, just always tune in, man. I appreciate y'all for always tuning in. You know, for interacting with my Instagram. You know, the podcast page on Spotify, YouTube. Um, Apple Podcast just please interact with me y'all I appreciate everything y'all do I appreciate everything y'all just give me y'all give me the motivation to do this and um, I so I could get people on the show to talk about just dope stuff bro And because if it was a boring show then I wouldn't you know what I mean people wouldn't be listening people wanna be, would, wouldn't want to be on my show Yeah. so just interact with the show let me know you know, cr- you know, criticize me. Let me know what I could do better. Let 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 like let me know what I'm doing good, so I can continue doing it. And just keep interacting with me, like I'm saying, bro. Interact, interact, interact. I appreciate all y'all for listening. And this was a good one today with my guest Samer. And yeah, man. You didn't mess it up this time. Nah, I didn't mess it up this time. <laughs> I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't, bro. But uh, yeah, man. This was a good one. I appreciate yeah, having man. you, bro. Thank you, man, so much. Yes, yeah, sir. Enjoy this. Peace. Peace. Yes, sir. Aye.